guys, it's me, Rock with you all here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Super Mario 64 PC port. Absolutely. So, let's, let's first see the essentials. So, first, you need, so first you thing you need is to search on Google is SM64 PC Builder 2. So, Mario SM64 PC Builder 2. That should be this one. SM64PC.info and SM64 PC Builder 2. Then click it. Then you want to go down here. You need to find MSIS 2. Get the 32 bit version. And as you can see, it's downloading. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do that. So once you, so once you download it, you just gotta install it. And then if it pops up, then just close it. Alright, so that's done. So now you also need a, a ROM. Like, so search Super Mario 64 ROM. And then you can download for all these sites. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. Once again, I already have the ROM. Now, it will ask you to find the ROM once you install the Super Mario 4 PC Builder 2. But don't worry about it. Should be okay. So, after you download it, it's in a zip file. So, open that zip file. Use WinRAR to use WinRAR to open it and put it on a slide. Then make a folder called Super Mario 64 PC port, port, port and then put this into that folder. Then what you, what you want to do is start a PC builder. Hey, yes. It's going to ask, on the first boot, it's going to ask you to update MSYS 64. Hit yes, then wait for it to update. And after that's done, you'll be on this screen here. So what you want to do is, you want to click, so render, you want to hit Super Mario 64 EX nightly. So Mario 64 EX and then hit nightly. And then there should there should and then there should be a button named download. You see right here, that's what will show up. So that's what you gotta do. Hit the download button and wait for it to download everything. After that, these should these options should appear. Here's where this happens. So you so you go here to options. So what do you, what do you want to do here is um, go to saveable options. Make sure it's running on OpenGL 2.1. And turn on turn off launch game upon on successful compile. Turn that off because uh yeah, you don't really need that. Next thing you want to do is go to is go to models. So what you want to do here on the model screen is check mark vanilla 96. That's all you got to do there. And then go to patches. Then go to patches. So this will be selected by default. Just unselect, unclick, just click that so it's unselected. Then go 60 FPS. And we'll leave ending screen. You see that's done. Now go textures. Render 96 high definition. And then yours will say install, but since I've already done it, it's going to say update. So now wait. So now it's going to... Now yours will take longer than this, but... Yeah, yours will take longer than this, but you want to hit Red 96 High Definition, this one, and then hit, up, then hit install, or in my case, update. Now you go to overview. So this is what you got here. You got the US version. 60 frames patch and leave ending screen. You also got the vanilla 96 models. Then you want to hit compile. On yours, it will just start immediately, but for me, I will need to hit hit. I'll need to reset this. So yeah, there it goes. So now I'm gonna stop the video here and then we will check it out later. Also, if it results in Microsoft Windows command prompt, then close the command prompt. And then hit update in the PC Builder 2, go to, go to manage, and then there should be an update button near the top. Okay, so we'll just have to wait until this is done, okay?
Just, you know, if it shows any errors, like nothing to do, leaving directly, that's okay. So, bye. I'll, I mean, never mind, actually. I want, okay, uh, there's something I want to just quickly say. Um, that's, when you, if it asks you to select your ROM, like that you get the Super Mario 64 ROM that you downloaded, just select it and let it do whatever it needs to do. And then you can get those extra options on the side and then follow exactly what I did to get, you know, it was just quick update. Okay, so after it finishes doing it, it's going to say um, the S word here, but just don't worry about it. Just hit OK. And that's, that's going to open up this folder here. And then what you want to do is, if you have if you have one connector Xbox control if you have an Xbox controller or like yeah it has to be an Xbox controller connect it up using a a, a a wired cable it has to be a wired because it otherwise doesn't work it, and make sure it's on so then double click this file and then as you can see it's starting to launch here give it a second and then you'll see you'll see it working Now this first compile may take some time. It's me, it's me. Mario. 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 Hello. Hello. Okay, but as you can see, it's working, right? So that that's good. So now hit the three lines on your Xbox controller. Start. I already have two save files, so. Okay. You can collect up to 120 stars in here. But you can Yahoo! see, it's looking pretty good. Yahoo! And you can Yahoo! even do it backwards on. Guys, if you ever do get good at it. Yahoo! And you took a long time to be mastered backwards on. But it is something you can do on this version. It's not like it's not there. Unlike in the Shin the Bumble Pack version, if you want to say. But it's basically the uh -huh. This version came out specifically in the Dever, it came out specifically in Japan, and the BLJs do not work in that version. That's why, that's what this is for. Speedrunners who like to play more support on PC, and they want to get to practice it. This is what this is perfect. Because it's also running at full 60 frames per second. Okay. Bye, everybody.